Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I would like to show you how to build the native automatic 1111 stable diffusion repo and get this working for your AMD GPU. We will build stable diffusion with direct ML support. I will show you how to get the latest official Microsoft Direct ML extension up and running with your Stable Diffusion. Lastly, we will install Olive locally. This will allow us to convert Stable Diffusion models to ONNX so we can reap the full performance benefits available on our AMD GPUs. Let's dive straight into it. The first thing you want to do is download and update your AMD GPU drivers. Install your AMD drivers and let it run. Confirm you have a working driver set. I have tested this procedure on both the latest Adrenaline and Pro drivers currently available. When the driver install completes, reboot your PC. Next, download a copy of Anaconda. We will build everything in an Anaconda environment. This will allow us to neatly manage Stable Diffusion and Olive with all of its requirements on the same PC. You can now install Anaconda. If you are new to Anaconda, I would suggest that you follow the same selections I'm making here for the installer. Take note of the selections I'm making on this screen. Further, you can just click Next and finish up the Conda installation. This will take a while to install. When done, you can just click Finish, close down the installer, and you're welcome to reboot the PC. With Anaconda successfully installed, click here on your Windows search bar. Type Anaconda prompt. Click and open an Anaconda prompt. We can now create a project folder to build Anaconda and Olive into. Type CD backslash. This will navigate you back to the root of your hard drive. Let's create a folder called SD. Execute make der space SD. This will create the new folder called SD. Make sure to navigate into it. Execute CD space SD and you should now be in your newly created SD folder. We want to create a new environment where we can build Stable Diffusion and Olive into. We want to make sure this environment is running Python 3.10.6. Execute conda space create space dash n space sdimd space python equals 3.10.6. This will create a new environment called sdimd and it will install Python 3.10.6 into this newly created environment. With the environment created, you must remember to activate it. Execute conda space activate space sdimd and make sure it activates. Your working environment should change here from base to sdimd. Before we start working in this new environment, the first thing we want to do is upgrade pip. Execute python.exe space dash m space pip space install space dash dash upgrade space pip. This will upgrade pip to the latest available version. We will need git to clone repos. So let's install git into this environment. Execute conda space install space git. And follow along in the terminal to ensure git installed successfully. You'll notice in the terminal that git upgraded our Python version to 3.10.19. Let's quickly downgrade this again. You can just run conda space install space python equals 3.10.6. Execute this command to downgrade your Python version again. We can now clone the official stable diffusion repo. Execute git space clone space https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash automatic double one double one forward slash stable dash diffusion dash web ui dot git. When git clone stable diffusion, it will create a new folder called stable dash diffusion dash web ui. 
Make sure you navigate into this newly created folder. Execute cd space stable dash diffusion dash web UI. When you run stable diffusion for the first time, it's set to create a new VNV environment. We're already running in Anaconda, so we don't need that. Let's disable that behavior. Open Windows Explorer, navigate to your cloned stable diffusion folder. Find this webui.bat file. Right click and click on edit. Now right above this if not defined Python statement, enter set space skip underscore when v equals 1. This will tell the stable diffusion installer not to create the when v environment. Save this file and head back to your Anaconda environment. We are now ready to run Stable Diffusion for the first time. We want to launch Stable Diffusion, make sure it installs correctly, and first get it working on our CPU. Take note of the launch command we are using to start Stable Diffusion. Save this command somewhere. Each time you want to launch Stable Diffusion, you'll use this exact command again. Also note, I'm using the web UI file with arguments to start Stable Diffusion. So don't use any other file except the web UI file to start up for the first run. Execute web UI dot bat space dash dash low VRAM space dash dash precision space full space dash dash no dash off space dash dash skip dash torch dash CUDA dash test. The first time you launch Stable Diffusion, it will install all the requirements. Monitor your terminal for progress and any issues. When you run Stable Diffusion for the first time, the installer will also download the 1.5 model for you. When all the requirements are installed and the models downloaded, Stable Diffusion will launch a new web server on your localhost IP, port 7860. It should pop up a new browser window automatically and navigate to this address for you. Before we add AMD GPU support, we want to make sure Stable Diffusion is working properly on our CPUs first. Give it a prompt to generate. If working correctly, it will start the creation of an image on your CPU. This will take a while. Let it run. When you open Task Manager, you will see your processes spiking as it's creating this first image. Give this some time to complete and you should end up with your first image. We can now set up direct ML support for Stable Diffusion. Click here on the Extensions tab. Then click on Install from URL. Enter the following address. https colon forward slash forward slash getup.com forward slash Microsoft forward slash Stable dash diffusion dash web UI dash direct ML. Now click to install. Give it a second to install. When done, verify in your Anaconda terminal. It should show you that the ONNX runtime for direct ML got installed. Click here on the install tab. Verify that you see the direct ML extension here. We now want to add UNET support into the GUI. Click on Settings. Under the User Interface section, find the UI settings. Look for this existing entry called SD underscore model underscore checkpoint. On this line, start typing SD underscore UNET. Make sure you click and select this from the drop down. When complete, your entry should look exactly like mine here on the screen. You can now click Apply to load our new settings into the GUI. We now want to stop the running Stable Diffusion service. Open your Anaconda terminal. Press Ctrl C only once. Give this a second and then select Yes to terminate the job. Start Stable Diffusion again using the same run command. Give it a second to launch and confirm that you can see this direct ML tab added to your Stable Diffusion GUI. You can also verify that you see this SDU net drop down added at this stage. 
Again, head back to your Anaconda prompt. Press Ctrl C to stop the Stable Diffusion service. We are now ready to install Olive support into this SD AMD environment. In your Anaconda terminal, you should find yourself in the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. Enter cd space dot dot. You want to make sure you navigate one folder level up into the main project folder we created initially called SD. Let's get all of set up. For these steps, just follow along carefully. We need to do two things. We want to use pip to install Olive. The pip install gives us a working Olive, but it does not ship with the example files we need to convert models to ONNX. You can check the examples here on the repo. Select this branch, navigate to the examples, and then to the stable diffusion folder. We are after these example files. Let's install Olive with pip. Execute pip space install space olive dash ai, then in brackets direct ml equals equals 0 0.9.2, and this will install olive into your active SDAMD environment. We now have a working olive installed, but we need a copy of those examples. To get the examples, all we need to do is clone the same version of the repo used to install Olive. Execute git space clone space https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash microsoft forward slash olive space dash dash branch space v0.9.2 Execute this command so we clone this version of the repo. Execute the command DIR. Make sure you see two folders on this level. Your stable diffusion folder and this new olive folder. Let's navigate to the stable diffusion example folder that we are after. Execute cd space olive. Then execute cd space examples. Then cd space stable diffusion. From inside this folder, Run DIR again, and make sure you see the same files as listed here. We want to install this requirements file next. Execute pip space install space dash r space requirements dot txt. Let this install, and this will install the Olive Stable Diffusion requirements we need for the conversion of models. We will use this stable underscore diffusion dot pi file to optimize our models. You are welcome to study its contents if you want to make changes to the default behavior. This file is currently set to automatically download the 1.5 model for us and convert it. To have Olive download and convert the 1.5 model to ONNX, execute python space stable underscore diffusion dot pi space dash dash optimize. Let this run. This will take a while to complete and Olive will go through numerous repetitions to convert and save this model. Follow the conversion in your Anaconda prompt. Make sure you see no errors. After successful conversion, you want to make sure you see the optimized models saved into this optimized dash DML folder. Now that we have the default model converted, I'll show you how to download any model from Hugging Face using the model ID argument. Let's use the model ID argument to quickly download and convert the DreamShaper 8 model. So let's execute python space stable underscore diffusion dot pi space dash dash model underscore id space lichen forward slash dreamshaper dash 8 space dash dash optimize. Let this run out. Olive will now download and convert the dreamshaper 8 model for us. Again, when this process completes, make sure you see your model saved in your optimize dash DML folder. Now that we have two converted models to test with, we want to move them to the correct location where Stable Diffusion expects to see them. Open Windows Explorer. Navigate to your Olive folder, then Examples, 
Stable Diffusion, Models, and the Optimized DML folder. Let's go into the first Models folder, and then into this UNet folder. And here you will see the ONNX file that Olive converted. Press Ctrl N to pop up a new Windows Explorer folder. And in here, just browse back and navigate to your Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. In the Stable Diffusion folder, you'll find a Models folder. And inside this Model folder, you'll find a UNet-DML folder. Right click and paste the first model we copied here. You want to rename this file. Right click the file to rename it. We want to do this so we can select this model and know which model we're working with in Stable Diffusion. I'll call this SD1-4 and you want to do the same for any model downloaded and converted. Let's do the same for the DS8 model. We'll find the ONNX file and let's paste it here and then we'll rename it. And again, I'll rename this to DS8 so that I can identify it now when we start Stable Diffusion. And take note, at this stage we only have the DreamShaper 8 converted ONNX file. But we still need to download the original Stable Diffusion DreamShaper 8 model. Download the DreamShaper 8 model from your favorite model shop. And now place, as you normally would, the DreamShaper 8 model in the normal Stable Diffusion Models folder. We should now have two models to play with in Stable Diffusion. Close all open windows and head back to your Anaconda prompt. You should find yourself in your Olive folder. We want to get out of the Olive folder and navigate back to our Stable Diffusion Web UI folder again. We'll use the cd space dot dot command to navigate upwards in this folder structure. Enter cd space dot dot. Again, cd space dot dot. And one final cd space dot dot to exit the Olive folder structure. You should now find yourself back in your main project folder, the SD folder. Type cd space stable dash diffusion dash web UI. And from here, you can launch Stable Diffusion again using the same launch command we've been using throughout this video. Give Stable Diffusion a second to launch, and we're ready to test. And from this drop down, we want to select the checkpoint we want to use. I'll select the DreamShaper 8 model. And now, as well, remember to select the DreamShaper 8 ONNX file in the second drop down. Let's feed Stable Diffusion a prompt and click on Generate. This time around, you'll see your image generation running much faster. If you now jump into your Task Manager, you'll see your AMD GPU being utilized for this image creation. You are now ready to use your AMD GPU for any image creation, and you're welcome to fine-tune Stable Diffusion further as needed. When you reboot your PC and you want to start Stable Diffusion again, I'll leave the following commands on screen that you can follow to activate the environment and get Stable Diffusion up and running again. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you found any value in it, remember to comment, like and subscribe. And keep an eye on the channel for future AI and technology videos.